All right, let's praise together, okay? And I will worship with all of my heart. That's too high. All right, you guys sing the echo. Let's give our praises to God, okay? Amen? And I will worship. And I will worship with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength. I will seek you for all of my days. I will follow, follow all of your way. Let's say that again. And I will, I will worship with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength. Follow, follow all of your way. Hold on. And I will worship with all of my strength. All of my strength. With all of my heart. With all of my life. Okay? All right. Respond after me. Jesus is the Christ. You guys say the Christ. Here we go. Jesus is. No. Jesus is. There we, the answer to. That's how, that's, how, that's how Joseph talks. Jesus is. The answer to. Boys, Jesus is. Jesus is. The answer to. All right, girls, Jesus is. The answer to. All right, all together, Jesus is. The answer to. Okay, let's stand up. Let's stand up. Everyone stand up, stand up, stand up. Why? All right, and I will worship. Here we go. And I will worship with all of my heart. I will worship with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength. I will seek you for all of my days. I will follow. serve you, give you everything, I will lift up my eyes. 
to your throne. I will trust you. I will trust you alone. And I will. I will give you all my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone, I long to worship. You alone, I will. I will give. I will give you all my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone, I long to worship. You alone, I will. I will give you all my praise. You alone I long to worship. You alone I went one last time. I will give you all my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone I long to worship. You alone I worship. Of my praise. Amen. Jesus says. No. It's Jesus says. Thank you. Answer two. Amen. All right. Let's sink deep down. All right, here we go. Dig deep. One, two, three, four. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your everyone. Deep down in my heart, deep, 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 body oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus, deep, deep, body oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your G ladies first in your heart? Deep down in my heart, I know man, do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Deep down, all right, pay attention, here we go. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in your heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love wearing red? Deep down in your heart. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love you wearing blue? Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love? If you have short hair, deep down in your heart. Deep down, if you're a girl and have long hair, do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Long hair. Then what is the definition? What is? What in the world is medium hair? All right, medium hair and long hair, whatever. Do you love your Jesus deep down in your heart? Deep down, if you have medium, and do you love your medium hair, long hair, boys? In your heart. Listen, 
Boys, boys. All right, I was just trying to get Panzak. All right, Panzak and Caleb together. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down, David and Caleb. Deep down, Holly. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Do you love, do you love your G? All right, Johnny, by yourself, go. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love your Jesus? Addison, by yourself. Deep down, everyone together, last one. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart, everyone. Deep down in my heart. All right, hey amen. Let's do some body worship now. All right, I need two volunteers. Addison. Oh, I need three volunteers. Harang and Pumpkin. Shh, stop, stop, stop. Someone stay, go in the middle. Perfect. All right. Music. All right, here we go. I am tiny and young. You ready? Here we go. I am tiny. One, two, three, four. I am tiny and young, but I work on my God. I am tiny and young, but God has chosen me. I am tiny and young, but I hold on to God's covenant. I am tiny and young. But I want to dream like Joseph. I'm a spiritual watchman, you. I'm a spiritual doctor, yeah. I'm a spiritual ambassador, yes. I am tiny and young, but a worker called by God. I am tiny and Young, but God has chosen me. I am tiny and young, but I hold on to God's covenant. I am tiny and young, but I want to dream like Joseph. Let me hear you. I'm a spiritual watchman, you. Who? I'm a spiritual doctor, yeah. I'm a spiritual ambassador, yes, and I'm a, I'm a spiritual watchman, you, I'm a spiritual doctor, yeah, I'm a spiritual ambassador, yes, one more time, I'm a, I'm a spiritual watchman, you, I'm a spiritual doctor, yeah. I'm a spiritual ambassador, yes. All right, I will hold, I will hold on tight to the word of God. You've given me God's word, the world, the 
words alive and this with me in my heart and in my life oh, I will hold on tight to the word of God you've given me God to the world I will Boys. Hey, 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 bumpy see me still like calm, be still like calm. That's what it said. I was alive and is with me in my heart and in my life. On the web, on the web, on the word I will stand. Stand a large swim, the Lord's word. I will stand upon the word. Hey, hey big sea, be still and calm. Hey, the Lazarus, wake up. Water turns into wine, says the Lord. That is what the Bible says. Here we go. Word. Holy Spirit, I will hold on tight to the word of God. You've given me God to the world. The word's alive and is with me in my heart and in my life. Hey, hey, but be see, be still and calm, be still and calm. That's what it said. The word's alive and is with me. In my heart and in my life, on the web, on the web, on the web, I will stand. I will stand on Lord's word, the Lord's word. I will stand upon the word. Hey, hey big sea, be still and calm. Hey, the Lazarus, wake up. Water turns into wine, says the Lord. That is what the Bible. All right, let's go on the word, on the word, on that word. I will stand, I will stand on Lord's word. I will stand upon the on the word, on the word, on the word, on that word. I will stand, I will stand on Lord's word. I will stand upon the word. I will stand upon the word. I will stand upon the word. All right, girls, go back to your seats. Thank you. Jesus is the answer to. Oh, remain standing. Here we go. Every move I make, I make in you. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every move. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? All right. Every move, every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. 
Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? You sound so fantastic. One more time. La 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 your turn. Oh, we can get much better than that. La 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 All right, waves of, waves of mercy, waves of grace, everywhere I look, I see your face, your love has captured me, oh my God, this love, how can it be? All right, you guys can sit down. All right, only Jesus. Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all my problems. So let's praise it together. Only Jesus is everything I need. Only Jesus is everything I need. Christ is enough for me. I am thankful just as I am today. Christ is enough for me, only Jesus. Only Jesus is everything I need. Is enough for me. I am thankful just as I am today. Christ is enough for me. Though I may be weak, He knows all my needs. I know that my Lord is the There is nothing that I seek but the name of Christ. Jesus is all I need. He is perfect. He is enough for me. Jesus is everything that I need. The grace of Jesus Christ is enough for me, and Jesus is everything I need. He is perfect, He's enough for me, and Jesus is everything that I need for the grace of Jesus Christ. that I need. He is perfect. He's enough for me. And 
Jesus is everything that I need. For the grace of Jesus Christ is enough for me. And Jesus is everything I need. He is perfect. He's enough for me. And Jesus is everything that I need. For the grace of Jesus Christ is enough for me. And Jesus is everything that I need. For the grace, for the grace of Jesus Christ is enough for me. And Jesus is everything that I need. Precious remnant Lydia will come up and pray for us. Um, dear God, thank you for this day. Help us to focus on the message and break down the forces of darkness. Please give teacher Jinster the double portion of the Holy Spirit so that he may deliver your word. Um, help us to hold on to Jesus' life, Jesus' power, and Jesus' healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, Lydia, for praying for us. Let's, bow. Let's close our eyes. Let's close our eyes. Let's pray together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, where he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy universal church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. In him. Hold. Oh, even now the trying God is at work, God is in forever. Even now God is working by his spirit in the word. Even now Christ is getting rid of the three curses and accomplishes salvation. Even now in seen try, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Exhale. is rising right now back on his heaven the time you spend in prayer is the time you bring god's kingdom here on earth to bring god's kingdom means while praying invisible to your eyes god mobilizes angels for his errands exhale you have an amazing authority you begin to break down the back of hell let satan break down all the forces of darkness Spiritual power, intellectual, mental power, physical power, financial power, power man power. Exhale. You have a, there's something more important than all of these. Now in your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit to all your studies. Exhale. of the triune God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth. Then we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom, it will come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. Exhale. Put your pencil down. Inhale. Oh, hell, we don't die and go to hell. Well, people are living a hell of shot on earth, having the back of hell, going to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments the life of that and drags people to hell. Exhale. In 
inhale. Oh, angels with the record of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes angels. Exhale. state what's more important than answers is my spiritual state that is where everything begins to be solved i mean to have a healthy spiritual state that rises full of the covenant is filled with the holy spirit always i mean to listen to the voice of god not the words of people exhale inhale oh church is the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there there always must meet leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. Concentrado, concentrado. <sighs> Inhale. Hold. May God's image be refined inside of us. May we be filled with the breath of life through your word. May we restore the blessing of the Garden of Eden. Exhale. Inhale. Hold, help us enjoy the blessing of the throne of heaven, the transcendence of time and space, the light of 237. Exhale. Exhale straight. We're not doing anything else. Hands on your, you sit on your hands. Sit on your hands. <sighs> Thank you. Ah, Benji, always goofing around. Inhale. Unprecedented help us enjoy the unprecedented, never repeating answer. Platform, watchtower, antenna, save myself, feels in church. Exhale. No dancing. No dancing. Inhale. Help us receive heavenly power, talent, mission to save the pastors and church officers and remnants and prepare for the three ages. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Quote, CVDIP, I want to see the covenant, possess the vision, enjoy the dream, conquer with their image, before the practice in advance. Exhale. Relax. That was intense. Wow. Still exhaling. All right. Moving on. Jesus, life, Jesus, power, Jesus, healing, Jesus, witness. Our year long message. Raise a band for the nations. We're going to get a new one in like two months. Wow. Oh, those precious remnants. Ooh, goochie, goochie, goo. What happened to them now? Ah. Hold on to the covenant and pray. Experience God's five time schedules, which are working of the Holy Spirit, doors of evangelism, hidden prepared disciples, oh, word fulfilled, we forgot word fulfilled, changed the field. Are you okay, Mr. Abercrombie and Fritch? Restoration to Christ, platform, pass through the gates, prepare the way, build up the highway, remove the stones of unbelief. Speaking of removing stones of unbelief. Where's that guy? Oh, me no. Two weeks in a row? What? Wait a second. I hear footsteps. Oh, he's still like three miles away. Raise the banner for the nations. Watchtower. God posted as his watchman on the walls. Never silent, day or night. No rest. Give God no rest. Try to bring your stuff up closer. Like first row. Here, you can sit right, or you can sit right here. Your second row. Communicate with God as his holy people. Oh, redeemed. Sought after. 
City no longer deserted. Oh, look at those Gucci Gucci Goo. What happened to them? Oh, Gizmo. 24 past, present, future. Mind 24, breakdown forces of darkness. Church 24, over here, second one. 227 healing summit. Field 24, wow, two inch vertical. <laughs> Today's message, the concluding teachings of Jesus. Hey, no blurting out during message time. Can we move on? Let's go, chop, chop, cheerio. Should we play another song? Someone's getting nervous. Oh, that's a good idea. He's praying that DJ Vince could pray, play his song. I mean, if you really want. Matthew 22, 1 to 2. Oh, he's turning purple. Oh, he's so embarrassed. It's okay, I'll cut it off. Wow, answers to prayer. All right, Matthew 22, 1 to 2. Last one there has to do 22 push-ups. Johnny will be doing 22 push-ups later. Wow, look at his, are oh, you wearing a wig? Wow, lots of people sick today. Sick of Satan. All right, two, one and two, it says, Jesus spoke to them again in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. And we'll talk about that today. His objective is to concentrate on only Oh, he's so cute. What happened to him? It's okay, it's nonsense anyways. You guys made the background music too loud. and the rats. Is everybody done? Yes. All right, moving on. Oh, that's O-N-L-Y, by the way. That's an L only. For those of you who didn't learn cursive yet, you guys should be lear learning cursive at school, right? Oh, good for you. Do you want to pat, pat, pat on the back, back, back? Okay. Good. Oh, so you skipped third grade? Sigh, sigh, sigh. <laughs> Is anybody still writing? No. All right, moving on. Let's review what we talked about last week. Last week we talked about... No, Jesus who rode on a donkey. Right? We didn't talk about donkeys. Right? Jesus had to enter into Jerusalem riding on the donkey, right? Just to fulfill God's word because that's what it was prophesied. And then Jesus said, go. He sent two disciples, go get a, the donkey. If they, if they question why or what are you doing, then say, the Lord needs it. And they're like, okay. And then, yeah, they actually went and did that. Jesus, 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 right? So they went, got the donkey, and the master owner came. Hey, what are you doing? That's my donkey. The Lord needs it. Oh, okay. Give it to him. Oh, okay. And this was all to fulfill God's word, right? If you're going to goof around, bye-bye. Because that had nothing to do with the message, right? Somebody just blurted out chicken nuggets. Who was that? It's okay. He'll do 22 push-ups later. And there he entered into Jerusalem. We're paying attention right now. We're not goofing around. We're looking at the screen. 
Put it to the side if you're not going to do anything with it. First warning. Do you understand? They wave palm branches and put their clothes on the street. Hey, no daydreaming. What are you daydreaming about? Donkeys? Singing, Hosanna in the highest. Right? Praise God. There's Jesus. Everybody was in the city. They're questioning, who is this guy? And the crowd shouted, this is Jesus of, of Nazareth, of Galilee. What do donkeys represent? Peace. Interesting. So Jesus technically came to give peace between God and man and people and people. Then Jesus enters into the Jerusalem temple and he repairs the temple because they were selling. They made it into a marketplace, selling stuff. And Jesus is like, my house, this is supposed to be a house of prayer. And you made it into a den of robbers. So he overturned the money lenders tables, made a whip and then drove out the animals. On the, on the way here, I saw a dead deer on the road. Yeah, I was driving by the forest, and then there was dead deer. Wow, that's a lot of meat. That's like two. That's like a half a year of meat right there. I was I was thinking about should I stop and put it in the trunk? Because deer meat really good. Anyways, it was fresh. It was killed overnight. Anyways, this should be a house of prayer. But you made it into a den of thieves. And then after, the blind came to him. And the, 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 the blind and the lame came to him, the crippled. And then what did Jesus do? Which means they were always there. And Jesus healed them. Oh, yeah. Toe click. Heel click. Hosanna to the son of David. Because he came from David's family line. And then the Pharisees became angry. How come they're cheering for you and not for me? Huh. Hey, didn't you hear? The children, out of the mouths of the children, they will praise the Lord. And then he went to Bethany, where he chilled. Why was he able to repair the temple? Because he's the master. And then, next morning, he was very hungry. And then he looked at the fig tree. Give me food now. The fig tree should have grown food right there. Vroom, 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 vroom. Here, master. But it didn't. No response. So Jesus cursed the fig tree. And what happened to the fig tree immediately? The disciples are like, whoa! What does the fig tree represent? Israel. And then it's destruction, right? They're like, Jesus is like, if you have faith, you'll receive it. You can even say mountain, go jump into the sea. Fig tree represents the Israelites. The shriveled fig tree represents Israel's future. And that's exactly what happened, right? Colonization in Rome, because they're waiting for the wrong Messiah, political Messiah, not the actual Messiah. Then the people question Jesus. Where are you getting this authority? And Jesus is like, well, let me ask you a question. John's baptism, where did it, where did it come from? From heaven or from men? And then they discussed amongst themselves. If we say it's from heaven, then Jesus will say, why didn't you listen? If we say it's from man, then John's followers are going to get angry. And they're going to do a, a revolt because they thought John was a prophet. So they were in a dilemma, Emma. They're like, we don't know. Then Jesus is like, all right, then I won't tell you. What's better? There was a man who owned a vineyard. And then the first son, he's, he's like, the father's like, go work in my vineyard. And the first son's like, no, dad. But then he did eventually. And the second son's like, okay, dad, I'll work. But then he skips. He ditches. What's better? The son who eventually did the work or the son who just lied? and didn't do the work. 
Jesus. He's like, the first one. Kind of like the tax collectors and the sinners who listen to Jesus eventually. Parable of the vineyard owner. Jesus gave another story. There was an owner. He built, he purchased a vineyard. He built a wall around it and a wine press and a watchtower. And then he let the farmers rent it. And then went off, went back home. Now he sent some of his servants. Hey, go, go get some uh, bananas from my, vi- from my vineyard. The minions are like, all right, master. The master would like his bananas. But what did these two does these two farmers do? He beat them up. Beat them up, stoned them, killed them. One of them escaped. Master, master. And the master was like, what? That's my vineyard. And those, those are my bananas. And then he sent even more servants. Get them, minions. What did the farmers do? They beat all of them up. <laughs> minions flying all over the place. Yeah. We heard Mino's footsteps three miles away. Perfect timing. And then the master's like, all right, then let me send up my one and only son. Maybe he'll, they'll listen to my son. And the son's like, um, the master would like his bananas. And the farmers are like, what? Hey. Let's kill the son and take all everything that he owns. That's exactly what he did. They took him, threw him out, and killed the son. What is the son supposed to represent? Jesus, right? Wow, he brought his notebook finally. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. No, 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 no. No. Wow, tucky waves. The, the stone you rejected became the cornerstone. What happens if you take this cornerstone out? The whole thing falls. Right? It's, talk, it's supposed to represent Jesus. All right, and moving on. Let's review our October reminders. Let's concentrate. Concentration on only, right? Communion, concentration. Every time we worship, think about Jesus' death and resurrection, crucifixion and resurrection. This is our October reminders, man. But yeah, you should write concentration on only. Right? Focus on Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Right? We do this in a remembrance of Jesus. During worship, every time you worship, think of Jesus deep in your heart. Focus on the triune God. What, what's, a, what's, what are the, what's the triune God? The Trinity. God the Father, Son, Spirit. In the morning, when you wake up in the morning, God, give me this power. Throughout the day, God, help me to hold on to word, prayer, evangelism. Help me to remember you being with me. At night, oh, God, thank you so much for this awesome, peaceful, wonderful day. Right? Often during the day, we forget this. God's with us. Let's enjoy that true happiness. And as we worship, word, prayer, praise, evangelism, offering, fellowship, enjoy God being with you throughout this entire day. Focus on only Christ, right? God will change our spiritual state. It's not something we have to force. Hold on to what's absolute, which is, belongs to God. Absolute covenant, plan, journey, method, goal, power, sovereignty, to sum it all up, focus on God, okay? You don't, you don't have to hurt your brain by trying to memorize all these stuff. God. God will heal our soul today, right? Somebody looks so healed and physically comfortable that he's reclining in like a chair right now. Oh, he, he sat up. Right? As we do our scheduled prayer. God will give us answer. God promised to answer your prayers, right? Enjoy the power of the throne, transcendence of time and space, 227 light. In other words, prayer, right? Don't think too, don't think too hard about this. 24 hours, we enjoy God being with us, right? Uh, teacher, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to be when I grow up. 
Or some people are like, oh yeah, I want to be police officer. I want to be hip hop artist. I want to be martial artist. I want to be artist. I want to be something, something. But then you go to high school and college, I still don't know what to do. What am I going to do with my life? Don't worry about it. As, as you enjoy God being with you, God will reveal it to you, right? Don't rush it. We don't have to rush God. God, we don't do that. God will show us. Succeed in worship, right? Worship equals success. So many worships succeed in worship. Okay. This is still a lot of words to remember. But don't think too hard. As you know, the gospel... Gospel, good news. Jesus is the Christ. Answer to all. But I have so many problems. It's so hard for me. It's okay. Jesus is the Christ. Answer to all. Jesus is Christ. Answer to all. Just keep saying that. right? And then, just like we practice our way of salvation, just share the gospel to yourself. Right? I'm a field too. You're a field. So share the gospel to yourself by reciting the way of salvation to yourself. Right? Just like that fella and that fella and the middle fella. God, open up my ears. In his case, open, my, my, open up my one big ear to hear the gospel. Next, prayer. Wow. Yellow panther. Orange panther. Wow. Panther. Enjoy prayer. God being with you, right? All the time. God, open up my ears and open my heart. During worship, pray for our pastors, pray for our ministers, pray for your teachers. God will change your spiritual state. No goofing around, Mr. Wake Man. Next, absolute. Wow. Hold on to God's absolute plan and method. Only, only Christ, right? Let's start with only God. Who's your master? Is it your parents? Is it your teachers? No. God's your master. Does that mean we, should, we, should, we don't have to listen to, to our parents and our teachers? No, we should. Right? But then our true master is God. God has a huge, amazing plan for your life. No poking holes in the chair. I have to always babysit the Kim brothers. Older, older remnants, you've got to help us out. God will heal our souls, right? spirits. Thanks, Mino. But that's, he's not what I was, who, was, who I was talking about. He's not a Kim, he's a Lee. Next, power. Yeah, enjoy God. Power from God. He, ha he has too much power. Wow. Spiritual power. He's so happy all the time, right? Spiritual power. Always smiling. He's, see, he's trying to hold in the smile, but he's going to smile in, in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Because he's enjoying 393, right? Spiritual power. All right, let's move on to today's message. Finally, right? Parable of the wedding banquet. Done. And the bride trips. And the groom, the groom laughs. And then divorce. Moving on. Now Jesus, again, speaking in parables. Hey, did you write this down, Lazarus? Lazarus. Wow, thanks. Now, there's this, there this king, and he prepared a, a wedding banquet for his son. Look at that fancy place. Who do you think the son is? Yeah. Wow, look at his triangle head. He sent his servants to go invite some guests, right? 
hey, you're invited. Hey, you're invited. Have you ever been invited to a, like a birthday party yeah. or a wedding? Who has no friends? Yeah, no, no, birth, no birthday invitations. Oh, sorry, guys. God has a special, even more special plan for you three. God wants you to focus on him. Guys, and why don't you invite Benji and Michael and Banshee to your birthday parties? Actually, I might ruin it. Just two? Oh, it's because you ate all the food last time. Hey, come, you're invited. And then these, these friends are like, no. They refuse to come. What? No, they said, no, no, no. And then the servants are like, they, didn't, they refused to come. So the king's like, he sent even more servants. Tell them that I prepared a dinner. My oxen and fattened cattle have been butchered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. Come on, we're going to have some awesome steak. And what is that? Avocado? Avocado steak? Blech. Oh, and I'm bacon, bacon. So he sent even more servants to invite them again. Hey, you're invited. But they said they paid no attention and they went one off to his field to work in the field, another person to his business, one to the field. Too busy. I'm not going to a wedding banquet. I am going to the field. Oh, spiritually blind, that's why. Next, one to the her business, Hello Kitty business. Oh, spiritually blind. It was accident. Or was it? <laughs> so, and then what did they do? The rest of them, they seized the servants, mistreated them, and killed them. No! Poor minions. Killed them with the stink of her feet. What? Oh. Another one. Look, look how happy she is to kill the minions. No. <laughs> wow. So the king was furious. <laughs> they killed us. They killed them all. So he's like, okay, send in the troops. Uh-oh. The king was very angry, and he sent his army <gasps> to destroy those murderers and, and burn their, their city down. <laughs> Oh, man. And they died. Yeah, because they didn't come to the wedding banquet. Plus, they killed the servants. Ah. Now, the king's like, hmm. The wedding feast is ready, but those who were invited, they were not worthy. So, go out into the streets, in the roads, in the city. Gather whoever you can. Come gather whoever you can. And the, let's fill up this wedding banquet hall. And the servants went out. You're invited, you're invited, you're invited, you're invited. They're invited. No, 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 no. You, 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 your city was burnt down. So they, went, they came. And then, back then, when you're invited into a wedding, they give you clothes to wear, like the wedding clothes, right? So they all wore their clothes, but then there's this one guy. He didn't wear the clothes that he was supposed to wear. The king, the king came and looked inside, looked at the guest, and he saw a man who had no wedding garment. He said, friend, how did you get in here without wedding garment? And the man was speechless. So the king got his servants to bind him, to bind him hand and foot, take him away and cast him into the outer darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, they kicked him out. He kicked him out. For many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, so we just went over this parable. What do you think it means? Who do you think the king is? God. Who do you think the son is? Jesus. Jesus, okay. Who do you think uh, the servants were? Remember, they killed the servants. They killed angels? Disciples. Think about the Bible. The prophets and the priests, okay. And then, how about the people who killed them? Um, Maybe the Pharisees and Sadducees, okay. What about the people who were invited? The Gentiles, the remnants, okay. How about this guy who didn't wear the wedding clothes? Maybe a non-believer, right, who was in the church. What do you think the wedding clothes 
represents the wedding clothes. Salvation. salvation. Yeah, because you have to receive salvation to enter into the wedding banquet. Well, then what do you think the wedding banquet is? Kingdom heaven. Heaven, right? Wow. We're able to understand these, this parable in a very spiritual way. So the wedding, wedding clothes is talking about Christ. Right? We have to be clothed with Christ, our righteousness. Sit up. All right, point number two. Next, the payment of taxes. So, these religious leaders, the Pharisees went out and then laid a secret plan <laughs> to trap Jesus in his words. Right? They're trying to trick Jesus, try to make him say something wrong. So, they sent one of their disciples. They sent their own disciples to pretend to be Jesus' disciple. There are those two troublemakers. So Jesus was in the crowd talking to them, sharing the gospel, and then comes, sneaks, sneaks in these two disciples of the Pharisees. Teacher, we know that you're true and you teach the way of God truthfully. You don't care about anyone's opinion, for you're not swayed by appearances. Look, they're just saying nice things to me to trick Jesus, right? Just because someone says nice things about you, is that really what they feel? And we got to be able to see deep inside. Evil plan. <laughs> and then they asked the question, tell us, what do you think? Is it lawful? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Caesar was a king back then. Caesar, little Caesar's pizza. <laughs> All right. Jesus, he saw their wickedness. Right? And he's like, why are you trying to tempt me, you hypocrites? Hypocrites are people who say and do stuff and tell others to do stuff, but they don't do it themselves. And then he recognized their evil intention, right? Their evil intent. They're trying to trick Jesus. And then Jesus is like, here, show me the coin that you pay for taxes. So the, the Pharisee disciple, are we doodling or are we taking notes? Brought a denarius out. Right? Oh, I always have to babysit the Kim brothers. <laughs> Next time, Banshee, you, you sit next to Paul. Okay? And then you babysit him. I'll pay you. I'll pay you a denarius. And then who's, whose face is on this coin? And he's like, Caesar's. And then Jesus is like, okay, then give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. What do you think that means? It's so simple. Things that belong to the world belong to the world. Things that belong to God belongs to God, right? So their question is wrong, right? When they heard it, they were shocked and marveled, and they left him and went their way. See ya. What is this trying to say? Hey, for children of God, everything belongs to you. Everything. Right? Because when God created us, Adam and Eve, he said, conquer, rule over everything. The world is yours. And who do we belong to? We belong to Christ, right? Everything belongs to us, but we belong to Christ. And who does Christ belong to? Christ belongs to God. So, in other words, everything belongs to who? God, right? Everything belongs to us. We belong to Christ. Christ belongs to God. Everything belongs to God, right? So talking about who's your master. Is your master Caesar? Little Caesar's pizza? Or God? God. Right. <gasps> See what happens when you miss one remnant worship? <sighs> he missed last week. Oh, point number three. Controversy about the resurrection. Controversy. There's a conflict. Confusion about the resurrection. <laughs> oh. 
What was that? I hear a blue jay. He must have throat cancer. <laughs> Moving on. That same day, the Sadducees, so now these are Sadducees, not Pharisees. Pharisees believe in like spiritual stuff, like the resurrection. Sadducees, they don't believe in spiritual things at all. Sadducees, they always argue with Pharisees. Okay? Sadducees believe there's no resurrection. They came to Jesus with the question, Teacher, now this is another trick. Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the wife and then have children for him. But what if, what if the man doesn't have a brother? What if, what has a sister? Let's say he does. <laughs> this is what the law of Moses said. Look at these hypocrites. They're trying to use God's word against God. And then they're like, let's say there's a brother. And the brother married his wife. But, now let's say there were seven brothers. The first got married, and then he died. He left no children, but let his wife, left his wife to his brother. He died. <laughs> oh, poor Mino died. Now, the second brother came, and the second brother, let's say, married the wife, but no children, and then he died as well. So this is the second brother, right? Now there was another third brother, and the third brother married the wife again, but what happened to the third brother? Died again. Now... There was a fourth brother, and the fourth brother married the same wife, but the fourth brother died too. And then there was a fifth brother, and the fifth brother married the wife, the same wife. Oh my, this is crazy. But this is just all hypothetical. But he died. Does it stop there? No, there was another brother. Whoa. And, the, and this brother married the wife, but this wife, this husband also died and there was another one <laughs> and this one married the wife again but he died and then wife died now this is what this is what the Sadducees are asking Jesus then now then at the resurrection whose wife will, will she be of because since she's married all seven of them when they resurrect in heaven, who's, who's going to be the husband? And this is, no, he, she, married, she married all of them. And then Jesus is like, knuckleheads. You're wrong because you don't know the scriptures or the power of God. In the resurrection... There's no such thing as marrying or marriage. You'll all just be like angels in heaven, right? So they're, they're worried about nonsense. But about the resurrection of the dead, haven't you read what God said? God says, I'm the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, right? Not the God of the dead, but the God of the living, right? What does it mean to be alive, according to the Bible? Having salvation, having Jesus in your heart, being a child of God, that's what it means to be alive. But then they didn't, they thought it was literally dead living. God is the God of the living, children of God. And the crowds heard this and they were so astonished and amazed at, his, at Jesus' teaching. So... Now they gathered together. The Pharisees, Sadducees, they're like, ah. they told them what happened. Jesus schooled us. Jesus kicked our butts. We tried to trick him, but it didn't work. And now the big boss, he's like, he got an expert. Now the expert in the law, they're like, you know what? I'll take care of this. I got this. So now this Pharisee, the expert in the law, went to test Jesus. 
Everybody got this? The greatest commandment. So he went to Jesus. Round three. Teacher, which, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Or just the Ten Commandments. Which one's the greatest one? And Jesus is like, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. That's the first, right? Love God. Then, so this is the first and greatest commandment. Then Jesus is like, here's the second one. Love your neighbor, just like you love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. So there's this relationship, us and God, and then there's this relationship, us and other people, right? Guys, do math. What what line, What kind of line is this? Vertical. Vertical. And what is this? Horizontal. Horizontal. Somebody's failing math class. <laughs> hey. Don't say that. I'm going to take all your takis. No. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in a blender and make it into a taki powder. And I'm going to sprinkle it all over. All right. First one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, might, and mind. And love our neighbors. Right? Sometimes, or I think tomorrow, maybe today, there might be some neighbors who come to our house for trick-or-treating. So we pray for them, right? Pray for a neighbor. We love our neighbors. Of, on these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. What is this? Round four. Now, the Pharisees were gathered together and Jesus asked them, who do you, what do you think about the Christ? The Christ? Whose son? Whose son is he? So who's the Christ's dad? And they're like, oh, the son of David, because he came from David's family line. Because Jesus was technically David's grand, 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 grand grandson, right? And then Jesus is like, then how come... When David was alive, David called Christ Lord. Huh? Because when David was alive, David said, talking about the Christ, he is my Lord. Sit at my right hand until I put all your enemies under your feet. He's the Lord who sits on the throne. If David called Christ Lord, then how is he his son? They were not able to answer him. Zip. And from that moment on, it was shut the mouth. No one was able to answer him a word. No one dared from that day forward to ask, to ask Jesus any more questions. But while they, had, where they were shutting their mouth, they were just plotting to now crucify Jesus. The time has come. No! Ah, misunderstandings. Misunderstandings everywhere. Always misunderstanding God's word, right? Always thinking physical. Physical. So, so we don't be like the Pharisees and Sadducees and experts of the law. Let's focus on only, only who? Only Jesus. Only, Jesus. only Christ. Only God. Yeah, let's experience and hold on to only Christ. Christ, who is our, the creator, who existed from before creation. This is what we're going to talk about next month as well. Jesus who came, God himself, who came incarnate as a human. Sit up. Christ who resurrected. And he was with us now, right? But teacher Jinster, teacher Christina, I can't see God. I can't see Jesus. What do you mean he's with me? He is, 
right? Spiritually, with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, and He will guide us and strengthen us with the filling of the Holy Spirit, and He'll work by the Holy Spirit. We just gonna de- we just need to stay in the flow. Jesus, who will return, right? You know, it's the end times, right? It's the end times right now, and then it is the end times because Jesus resurrected, He ascended into heaven, and He's gonna return. Once the gospel is shared to two, three, seven nations. So right now, in, even in the book of Revelations and, and 2 Timothy, or 1 Timothy, it says, in the last days, there will be earthquakes and famines and disasters. What's happening around the world? We hear news of this, right? Earthquake, disasters. In the end times, there will be people who refuse to gather for church. Right? Oh, we could see that. So it's, it's the end time. But it's like the end of the end times. So it's, it's close. Right? So Jesus is second coming. So during this time, we should really focus on only Jesus and sharing the gospel. Right? Let's focus on only, only God. Focus on only, only Jesus. Focus on only, only work of salvation. And we'll talk more about it next month. End times. Let's enjoy Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing as Jesus witnesses. Raise a banner for the nations. Homework. Homework last week was to draw the triumphal entry of Jesus. Somebody, oh, Jesus is a cool cat. Wow. Something wrong with the donkey, though. Wow. Look at that, eyes. And they, look, he even has nostrils or eyebrows. Look, it's the eyebrows, eyes, and smiley face. And it, look, he's wearing a hat, a gray hat. Somebody turned this in. And this is F minus. This I will put in my back pocket so I can sit on it as well. Next one. Whoa. Jesus' triumphal entry. Oh, somebody, somebody failed. How dare you make fun of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? It's a camel. All right. Homework this week. Tomorrow is Halloween, right? That's pumpkin carve. Homework is... Whoever comes to your house to do trick-or-treating, do you guys have some candy prepared? Okay. Whoever comes to your house, your neighbor, we pray for them, right? We don't have to say, here, in order to get this piece of chocolate, I need to pray for you. No, no, don't do that. Just as you give and as they walk away, pray for them. God, may you bless that neighbor. Some people might have evangelism material. Do that too, right, if you have it. If you don't, pray for them, right? Oh, do you know what happened in Halloween in Korea? Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. Wow. Because of, because of Halloween, right? They were all celebrating Halloween, and they gathered together, like, was it thousands and thousands and thousands of people? Was it 100,000? No, No, how many people gathered? Like 100,000? And they were packed together in this really, They were packed together, so packed that there was, they couldn't breathe, and there was this crowd stampede, and like 153 people were killed. And it was really bad. Right? It was a big deal, and it's a big deal right now. All around the world, they're talking about this on the news. We pray for them, right? I guess that's what Satan really likes, right? Satan wants to... Eat destroy people using culture of darkness. You know, we have to pray for them. And then, you know what history of Halloween, how Halloween first started? All these, all these famous holidays, it started from like the church, medieval church. It was church. But then eventually what Satan does with these great fun holidays, he makes it into pagan, pagan he changes the meaning of these holidays, holiday, holy days, into 
like these worldly things, right? Worldly culture. Like Christmas, how did Satan change Christmas? To Santa Claus or elves. How did, how did Satan change Thanksgiving? A turkey day. A turkey. How, did God, or how did Satan change Halloween? Into evil spirit, ghosts, candy. How about Easter? Into Easter bunny, chocolate, right? Yeah, break down forces of darkness, huh? Let us pray for Dominica and Paraguay. Dominica, oh, Roman Catholic. Paraguay, Catholic. Let's pray for these two nations, right? Even in these, uh, like, South American nations, you know what they celebrate during Halloween as well? The Day of the Dead. Oh, yeah. Dia de, las, de los Muertos. There's skulls, right? Sugar. Little babies are drawing skulls and eating them candy skulls. Yeah. There's even movies about it. Coco. All right, let's pray for these two nations. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Dominica and Paraguay. So the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Now we have to start over because some remnants were packing up and not praying. Some remnants who always do, always do that. So let's start over. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah.